Hello everyone, hoping everyone is having a good one. If you are new here and end up enjoying today's content, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and red subscribe button as well. You can also follow me on all social medias at BladeMiz. And if you're looking for some more MLB The Show content, you can go ahead and check out what we have in store on this channel. Now, our last roster update predictions went by pretty well. We guessed a couple of golds, a couple of silvers. So I'd say we made a good amount of stubs if you went ahead and invested this week we have 10 more hitters and these are some of the hottest hitters in baseball right now. So number one is going to be Logan Forsyth. Now his three year averages are versus lefties he's hitting 248 slugging 362 versus righties he's hitting 235 slugging 323. This year versus lefties he's hitting 292 slugging 500 versus righties he's hitting 329 slugging 544. Keep in mind he has under 30 at bats versus lefties, but I do believe this is enough to get him an upgrade to his left handed attributes and his right handed attributes, both contact and power, and give him a high bronze potential. Next on the list is Nomar Mazara. Now, his three year averages goes as follows versus lefties 238 batting average, 400 slugging, versus righties 262 batting average. 442 slugging this year versus lefties he's hitting 263 slugging 553 versus righties 252 slugging 402 now i see him going up to a mid-tier silver meaning 76 to 77 overall and i would say do not hold him for gold if you're looking to make a couple of extra stubs this could be the investment for you or if you're looking to do some exchanges this could be the guy for you as his increase in overall will give you extra points and exchanges Next on the list is Joey Gallo. Now Joey Gallo, his three-year averages go at, goes as follows: versus lefties, he's hitting 224, slugging 528; versus righties, 212, slugging 535. This year versus lefties, he's hitting 278, slugging 611; versus righties, 266, slugging 670. Now his power numbers, they're already almost the max, but if they increase them by one or two, I would be surprised. I think he's going to get a strict contact upgrade in terms of both left and right, and he has the potential to be a mid-tier gold, so meaning an 82-83, I wouldn't say an 81, I say if they upgrade him, he's going to get pretty juiced up to an 82-83, lowest I'd give him is an 81, and I do believe if you invest in him now and you purchase him for under 1k stubs, you will make a profit if he goes gold because his price is definitely going to inflate unless the supply is just overwhelming like that Cody Bellinger. Next on the list, Steve Wilkerson. Now you guys love when I do common to bronzes and I'm gonna try my best to include some guys that catch my eye. So Steve Wilkerson, his three year averages are versus lefties he's hitting 67, slugging 67, versus righties he's hitting 298, slugging 488. This season so far, he has not gotten a hit off of a lefty, but versus righties, he's hitting 352, slugging 593. And keep in mind, versus lefties, I'm pretty sure he has maybe 15 at bats, maybe a little less than that. But I could see his attributes being upgraded on the right hand side. And I say he has that bronze potential. He's a low risk, high reward player, especially when it comes to exchanges. So I'd say go ahead and invest in him. You'll get him for five stubs a pop, I believe. Next on the list is Byron Buxton. Now, his three year averages goes as follows 281 average versus lefties, 409 slugging versus lefties, 234 average versus righties, 404 slugging versus righties. 2019, he's currently hitting 409 versus lefties, slugging 545 versus righties, he's hitting 257, slugging 514. I do believe this is enough to get him an upgrade versus left handed attributes and right handed attributes. I see him going up to a mid-tier silver, and he is a potential, or I would say if his hitting remains consistent, he is definitely a hold for gold. Next on the list is Eugenio Suarez. So Eugenio Suarez is a great lefty hitter. His average against lefties is 300, slugging 568, versus righties 262, slugging 482. This year versus lefties, it's on par. He's hitting 303, but he's slugging 130 points or 129 points higher at 697. Versus righties, he has literally the exact same batting average at 262, but he's slugging 60 points higher at 548. I see that being enough to get him both 
upgrades in terms of power versus left and power versus right make him a mid-tier gold i'd say 83 sounds nice but i wouldn't hold him for diamond because with his hitting attributes going up as high as they will unless he gets some nice juiced up fielding upgrade which i do not think he's one of the top fielders so i don't see it coming he is most likely not going diamond next on the list is rio ruiz now his three-year averages are versus lefties 275 slugging 450 versus righties 207 slugging 307 this year versus lefties he's hitting 214 slugging the same versus righties 267 slugging 416 versus lefties he has less than 30 at bat so if he gets three hits it could inflate it over 300 that's basically what i try to tell you guys whenever i say they have under 30 at bats i say with a nice juiced up attribute versus the right hand side he should be getting a bronze card and once again this is a common it's a low risk high reward you buy them for five stubs a pop and you get yourself 200 of them and then you can probably exchange 10 of them at a time for some silver players and just continue up the line up to golds and make yourself a pretty decent profit if you ask me next on the list is glaber torres so Glaber Torres, his three-year averages are 245 versus left-handers and slugging 524 versus left-handers left versus right-handers. He's hitting 287, slugging 476. This year versus left-handers, he's hitting 200, slugging 280 versus right-handers 308, slugging 554. Now, once again, versus left-handers, he has less than 30 at bat. I say with an upgrade to his right-handed attributes, he hits a 79 overall. Now, if within these two weeks before the 31st, which is the next update, or before the Wednesday prior to that Friday, if he has success versus left-handed pitching, then I believe he will be pushed to gold. So whenever there is a lefty facing the Yankees, you're going to want to at least check the box score, see how Gleyber Torres does, and if he goes four for four, smacks a dinger or something along those lines, then he's going to be looking good especially as an investment next on the list is carlos correa his three-year averages goes as follows versus lefties 341 slugging 533 versus righties 264 slugging 485 this year so far against lefties he's hitting 359 slugging 667 versus righties 282 slugging 556 I see an upgrade to both his left-handed attributes and right-handed attributes I see him going up to an 84 but due to the fact he has been a diamond prior, just like George Springer this past Friday, he has the potential of getting that plus three, just like George Springer and going back to diamond. So definitely, if he goes gold, you hold on to him and you hold on to him until he goes diamond, which if he remains the way he's currently hitting, is going to happen this year. Last but not least, we have Austin Meadows. And yes, I do know he got an upgrade this prior week. But if he remains consistent up until the Wednesday two weeks from now, I think he'll go silver because he deserves silver. So his three-year averages goes as follows. Versus lefties, he's hitting 313, slugging 590. Versus righties, 304, slugging 516. This year versus lefties, he's hitting 389, slugging 667. Versus righties, 338, slugging 704. He has less than 30 at bats versus lefties, but I still see it enough for him to get a power versus left upgrade and versus right upgrade in terms of both contact and power. I see him going up to a mid tier silver, a silver overall. And I say you do not hold him for gold unless his hitting stays consistent where he's hitting over 300 and slugging over 550. Don't hold for gold unless one month or two months from now he's still doing it then i'll let you all know but i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did make sure you hit that like button and red subscribe button go ahead and check out some of the other dope and will be the show content we do drop and as always you can follow me on all social medias at blademiz and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out